If you wish, you can now find us on imdb.com. This is Corey, and this is the O the Anthem podcast. Good afternoon, everybody. Yeah, it's Rob. I'm super happy to yeah. be on Robert Cheek on IMDb. Yeah, as an associate producer. Ooh, ooh. Now, what exactly does an associate producer do? I think I just stood there, right? Isn't that basically? Yeah, that's basically the job. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, I was directing the talent a little <laughs> bit. I also was uh, in the movie, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Can I you get some appreciation? You didn't have a acting? line, though. Yes, I did. I was talking. It was picked up on the thing. Technically an extra. <sighs> So I have to be unnamed? Is that what's going on? You're just guy in bar. Damn it. Guy, guy, we'll put guy, that on IMDb. Guy, guy in bar. Yeah, can we actually get Jim to uh, update his movie and put me on there as well? Well, speaking of the OTA Fitness Challenge, yeah. by the way, way to keep that up. How's it going with that? Um, I have gained a smidge back. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, to be fair, though, what are you doing? What are you doing for the diet? Nothing. Just not drinking Coke. <sighs> But, to be fair, to mm-hmm. rationalize it a little bit, I have been working like a crazy fiend. Okay. So I haven't really had time to, like, I could have eaten better. Right. But I didn't have time to, like, go to the gym or anything like that. You know what helps? What? Meal prep. Meal yeah, prep meal is prep. the is the money. Well, I, I like the uh, Instagram picture that you put up of yeah. your My second meals. month of meal prep. It's, and it's I hope you're not preparing easy. an entire month of food no. in one a sitting. Week, yeah. week in advance. <laughs> Um, and it takes me about four hours to make uh, a week worth of food. All right. And most of that is just letting the rice cook. But other than that, I mean, it's it's awesome. It's easy to do. I recommend it because it, for me, it's perfect. I run in. I get the food. I cook it in the microwave. I'm out. So with my busy lifestyle, yeah, it's perfect. But I, so far, I've I've seen uh, good reactions to the OTA Fitness Challenge. And I think people are starting to get involved. <laughs> I noticed. Have you looked at the pictures on Instagram? No. There are some that aren't us. Or really? Some, some that aren't me. I think that people, uh, the bots might be picking it up or maybe other people <laughs> are. I don't know what it is. And so they're just adding the hashtags in. I just – Could be that. I'm just Now I'm going to have to go and yeah. check and see if uh... – Well, you should add uh, at O the Anthem on Instagram. And oh, absolutely. At LegendCB5 and add at Robert and Cheek and make sure you hashtag your uh, pictures with – Hashtag OTA Fitness Challenge. Don't be offended if I don't follow you back on Instagram because I don't really have. Right. Well, he just hates you. So, uh, but so you <laughs> you still cut out the sodas. Or you gave up soda for Lent, right? So that's Correct. not coming back. So, um, but anything else? You, uh, I know you guys used to do racquetball. You're not, but you're not doing any gym at all. Not at the moment. Good things happen. Do you have an OTA Fitness Challenge word for this week? We do. Way? Yeah. Uh, let's go ahead and we're going to use hashtag cardio because I got to say that uh, I'm making the transition up and until now. I'm on my uh, going into month two of meal preps and uh, the oh, trying to do daily gym visits, um, doing at least six days a week at the gym, uh, and I've been doing a lot of cardio. And cardio is very important because it helps lead to everything else. Uh, when we when I restarted for the challenge, I was like so frustrated because I was doing a 10 minute mile. And then I got a reminder from Time Hop cuz thank you Time Hop. Uh, <laughs> of when Fuck I, turtle. <laughs> well, that. But when I started last year, I was like, "Oh my god, I can't believe I let myself go 16 minute mile." I was like, "Fucking 16 minute mile? <laughs> Good god." Um, but so the 10 minute mile wasn't that bad. So now we're down to under a nine minute mile, um, for one mile. And then I could sustain nine minutes over two. So we're, uh, cardio anyway. So cardio wonder, is very important. I wonder what my mile is right now. How Probably not great. for me to run a mile. Probably not great. Probably not. No. I'll find we're, out. work on that. And the problem you know is what? Also- at some, at some point this week mm-hmm. I'll go and on the OT, on the, oh, the Anthem Instagram, Gonna update. I'll put the I'll put the the thing there. Yeah, see what it looks like. <laughs> Five hour mile. <laughs> stopped for a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> stopped. Stopped. Went outside. Smoked a cigarette. Back Came back in. Yeah, but no. Uh, well, I can't go more than an hour without smoking. And I'm not doing it on the treadmill because they frown upon that sort of thing at the gym. Yeah. <laughs> Unless it's Planet Fitness. I think everything goes there. So you should probably be I fine. Love, I love the picture of the guy like with the sandwich like doing like the ab <laughs> exercise and like going. You know, I love everything about like the guy sitting on the machine incorrectly eating pizza. And I'm like. <laughs> Please stop. Just don't. And then I realized I can't do – I couldn't do Planet Fitness. Because yeah. despite the fact that I'm not a serious – don't seriously work out, I w- they would be hitting the um, – the uh, shit. 
lunk, the lunk alarm. Because, like, when I'm lifting, I'm like, fuck you, like, talking to myself and stuff. Yeah. And apparently that is frowned upon at that establishment. So. Really? Yeah. Well, so here's the thing. And I'm going to do a two-minute thing about it. Just uh, – it's a, uh, it's a, a scheme. The whole thing's a big scheme it's because they – what they do is they, they target people who don't go to the gym. They target then- people who don't go to the gym so that if the gym holds 200 people, they will sell 3,000 memberships because mm-hmm. they know you won't go to the gym. Right. And then they offer free pizza. And they know that you'll come because you'll tell yourself, I'll work out and then I'll get pizza or I'll work out and then I'll get donuts. Yeah. And then when you – three weeks later when you haven't been to the gym, you'll say, oh, boy, I went. I went like a week ago. So it's – I'll pay for another month because it's – and it's only five bucks or it's only ten bucks or whatever it is. Anyway, so it's a huge scheme to keep you fat. That's what it is. Yeah. And people – some people have the thought that I have, which is part of my, part of my gym membership is fat tax. If I don't go, I'm still paying for a gym membership. I'm paying a tax. To not go to the gym. Yeah. I might as well use it if I have it. And some people are the same way and they just go to Planet Fitness and like, I pay $10 a month. If I don't go, it's a fat tax. I am insane. So I also think the thing like, if I go 30 days, my $30 a month membership, dollar a day. Right. I go 15 days. $2 Now it's $2 a day. Like, what the fuck am I doing? I go 10 days. It's $3. You know, it's so yeah. I It forces me to go every day. When I miss a day, I think about how... What was that worth? That was worth a oh, dollar or two dollars. Oh, man. My gym experience today cost zero dollars. <laughs> right. So, uh, and I'm going for the goal of going twice a day, so it's actually 50 cents a day. I could support You're going to do, do two a days? Uh, I could do two a day. I mean, it's a 24-hour gym. That's why I like it. Yeah. And I have this idea in my head that if I get as passionate as some other people, I'll do two a day. So I'll get up and go to the gym in the morning and then go at night. I still have the fucking time for that. I really See, I, I think that's my th- – like I – me personally, I don't like waking up one second earlier than I have to. <sighs> but you got – you have that's, – I mean, that's that's me though. Yeah. Uh, the good the, thing to do, by the way, would be to set a, t- a time and get up at the same time every day. And I don't follow that. I can yeah. give the advice without actually following right. it. Right. It's one of those I'll tell you about it but I want to actually right. do it type and, of things. But I did it for a while. And I, I, something else I listened to on Umanu the way up here was about how uh, when you're in love, you can sleep less. And it was back when I was in love. And I said it for oh. – uh, fuck. I said – that's my reaction to love now. Oh, fuck. But I uh, – Fucking love. <laughs> I said it for 6 o'clock every day and even on Saturdays and Sundays. I'm up out of bed at 6 o'clock. And all I'm ready all to you go. people out there who are currently in love listening to this. Rob says, fuck you. Yes, I do say, fuck you. But anyway. Um, <laughs> I, on the other hand, say I support all your decisions. Right. But there's somebody better out there. <laughs> this Just guy. letting you know. Just this letting... guy's out there. No, I'm not even speaking about me. No, I meant me. I'm um, out there. Yeah. Well, no, not, not Rob either. <laughs> but somebody. Anyway, so I saw an interesting thing today, speaking of fitness. Uh, did you see they're now talking about doing full body transplants? I heard you speak of this. Yes. I didn't look into it specifically but they all i know is that i'm not quitting smoking anytime soon and uh <laughs> so my response to that was like well shit the why, first why time am i even <laughs> spending time losing weight <laughs> There's who knows i could get jared leto's body and then i'm on easy street right all right. i have to do is maintain <laughs> just maintain which, until <laughs> stay alive which as we know is easier than losing weight right <laughs> so like, well, i was thinking like uh, if i can just they're saying 2017 will be the first one like, stretch that thing out to 2020? Hell yeah. So, if they do it successfully, I'm telling everyone now, and don't give me shit about it when it happens, I'm picking up smoking again, <laughs> I'm gonna do all the unhealthy shit that I did, because I know that it doesn't matter. I think I'll be able to get a new body. Oh, when he gets his full body transplant, and he does, like, the uh, Abercrombie model oh, body. Yeah. Like, it is, like, a nine-pack. Yeah. And the V. <laughs> exactly. And yeah. then as soon as he gets out of the hospital, he's just like, he can finally move on his own. He's just like, pulls the pants forward. He's just like, no! <laughs> and I'm micro penis guy. Micro penis. World's <laughs> smallest dick. <laughs> By the way, you ever want to feel really bad about your penis size, just type world's smallest dick into Pornhub. No, no. <laughs> go to, apparently go to mytinydick.com. Yeah. The dude's got like 11 inches. He's like, I've never seen a dick this small before. Yeah. <laughs> How do you even use this thing? There was there was, a, there was one video that we saw. Yes, we were watching porn before the video started. Was... So big things happening this week. Oh god! And thank I know, God we're talking about this. I was say I know that we didn't actually get a chance to talk about it, but I know that you were posting about it online. So I'm assuming that you are deep involved. 
I'm so fucking sick and tired of this blue dress thing. Uh, it's well, blue and gold. Well, it's clearly blue and gold. First of all, it's not blue and gold. Uh, but that's, anyway, what, that's what you're talking about, right? The blue no, dress. that's not what I was talking about. This is part of the problem. So uh, the fucking blue dress. While the blue dress is going on, and it is blue, everybody just so that's clear. Anyway, so no, – But what, what could possibly be more important than this fucking dress? So uh, then uh, – I don't know if you saw, but Chicago apparently had a CIA-style jail set up in, in on the northeast side. The northeast <sighs> yeah, super boring. Mm. Here's what I'm going to say. Wasn't that like – Three years ago that that National Defense Authorization <laughs> Act thing happened. It was. And three years ago I said, and didn't, if we're not careful, the cops are going to set up secret jails where they're going to torture people and no constitutional protections apply. <sighs> and Corey and everyone else, including the bitch that I was dating at the time, said, why are you being so crazy? No. This will I never was, happen. I was very upset <laughs> about it at the time. That's true, too. I was, I was very upset about I, it. I needed a name. I couldn't just say the bitch that I was dating yeah. at the time. But uh, no, there, and I said, the... the this allows them to set up secret jails. Like instead of being in Turkey where they're torturing people, they'll be here and torturing people. And people were like, listen, you went full tinfoil. Never go to full tinfoil. <laughs> <laughs> can I can I, can I can I talk for a minute? Yes, go ahead. Tell me how this, the dress is more important. The dress is clearly <laughs> blue and gold. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know why. Like, uh, just fucking for love. It's blue and gold. Just deal with it. All right. What are you saying? I'm sorry. Uh, I'm just hoping that this leads to some sort of uh, uprising amongst the people, but it won't because uh, of the of things like the other news story from this week. You know what the you know what the uprising should be? Okay, God, I was just trying to segue to that. You know what the uprising should be? What's that? I'm pretty fucking sick and tired of this left shark. <laughs> the right shark is where it's at. Right. Yeah. Where's the where's the where's the violent indignation of the right shark people? Why haven't we marched to the... St- Why haven't we taken back the night for the right shark? Right. He was the star of the show. Not Katy Perry. Just, no, f- she's not real. The more you know. <laughs> the, right, <laughs> the right shark was actually trying. The left shark was an asshole. Go right shark. Okay, so the other thing that happened <laughs> this week was uh, net neutrality. Yay! Yay! We talked about that on episode... Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So we talked about net neutrality many episodes ago, and thankfully the FCC came out with rules that create uh, – they follow Title II of the Federal Communications Act of 1934, which means that there will be a lot of protections for the internet. There is no fast lane. Um, Comcast came out and said they were going to sue, and then they came out and said, whoa, 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 we didn't say we are going to sue, but they did. Verizon's talking about suing. Everyone's going to sue, which means that they'll have to be more stricter. There will be more strict rules. There will be another rule-setting thing, or the judge will overturn it. Who knows? But either way, uh, what that really means, though, is that from here on out – By the way, it was episode six if you want to check it out. God damn, really? Yeah. <laughs> That's when this whole thing started. A year uh, ago. We talked about Solange versus Jay-Z that episode. Jesus Christ! <laughs> A billion dollars in an elevator. A billion dollars in an elevator. And we argued over the science of climate change. Jesus. Yeah. We've covered a lot of stuff in the last year. <laughs> 47 episodes. Good yeah. grief. Anyway, so yeah. So 41 uh, weeks ago is <laughs> when this became an issue. So the good thing is that it's done. Uh, if you haven't seen we- uh, Chairman Wheeler. Wheeler? Yeah. Wheeler. Tom yeah. Wheeler. Tom Wheeler. You should watch the video somewhere around minute four and then again at minute eight. He gets real passionate about yeah. it. And it's as much passion as you're going to see the FCC hearings. It's fantastic. But um, You know what I think he should have done if he really wanted to win over the internet? Talk about right shark. No, just – well, he would have to talk about Left Shark. Left Shark. The other thing that you talked about, net neutrality leading into this, is yeah. if we didn't have net neutrality, it's a likelihood that we wouldn't know about the fucking llamas from this week. Right. Because llamas were great. And they streamed I didn't see a single minute of it until this morning. But. <laughs> right. Uh, anyway. <laughs> uh, so while the llamas was going on, it, moving on to the next topic I'm going to bring up, a couple weeks ago. Oh, thank God. <laughs> a couple weeks ago. Thank God we are finally going to be talking about... Seriously, uh, my favorite thing about this whole ISIS deal Mm -hmm. is that uh, a picture of who is being referred to as Jihad John or Jihad Joe. Right, yeah. uh, Showed up on the internet this week without his his garb on, his ISIS uniform. Right. The official uniform of ISIS. (laughs) Right. 
Otherwise um, known as enemy number two on Call of Duty. That's basically you. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of the jumpsuit with the black t-shirt yeah. and black mask. Yeah. Um, an an un, ununiformed picture of Jihad Joe showed up on the internet. Right. And uh, he was wearing a Pittsburgh pirate cap. Of course. He's from Pittsburgh. <laughs> Of course he likes but Fuck. Explains so much. He does. No, but uh if you're from if you're a Steelers like, or Pirates fan, obviously you hate America. <laughs> <laughs> you're, that uh, towel might as well be an ISIS flag. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm announcing it right now. If you wave a terrible towel, it might as well be an ISIS flag. Uh, I need some so while we were distracted by llamas, they're all, they're all stupid ISIS members anyway. While we were distracted by llamas and um, and Pittsburgh sharks, pirate caps, and and pirate caps, and uh, dresses. ISIS was going through some of the oldest museums in the world and destroying three thousand years of history. Yeah, listen, I like I like to people. It. There were people out there who were unaware of the plight of the llama, and now they know. Now they know what it's like to be a llama. It ain't good. You get captured. You get taken away. By the way, I you want to live racist a, that they call the black llama first. You want to. You want to <laughs> live. You want to live in a cage like a llama does. I guess if you live in Chicago, there's a chance that that'll happen. No, 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 because we know where the llamas are being kept. <laughs> we know where the llamas are held. Yeah, we, we know when we they, know where they're taken. We know where they're taken. We know what's going on with them. We know they're being treated fairly. I want to confirm the confirm the llamas uh, are still still healthy and alive. Well, by the way, that are getting proper legal representation. PETA probably shitting bricks about what's going on with these fucking llamas. Human beings being waterboarded in Chicago. <laughs> Well, they probably did something. Uh, if you uh, don't want to get arrested and thrown into an illegal jail, don't break the law. How about that? Next time you I'd, need help, call a crackhead. Uh, I think we've done good here today. Yeah. So, in in other in other words, check out foundingthefuture.us. Find Founding the Future on Facebook. Make sure you like the page and find out about shit that you should be listening to and you're not. And a dead drop. And a dead drop, which also has a more variety of stories. But Founding the Future is focused on political stuff. So keep, please be informed. Please be, please know about these things. If the yeah. only things you knew about were the stuff that Corey was jokingly arguing were the most important stories of the week, that's a problem. You need to yeah. get informed. So. Yeah, if you don't know that ISIS are huge Pittsburgh Pirates fans, <laughs> then you got... If you learned you, today that Pittsburgh is an anti-American city and that they all are supporting ISIS... If you love America and hate ISIS, oh, the anthem dot com, Corey at oh, the anthem. <laughs> Corey at oh, the anthem dot com, oh, the anthem on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, YouTube, listener line. Talk about how much you love America. 443-219-7595. What's that number again? It's 443 7595 That was very Fox News of you. <laughs> if you love America and hate ISIS. <laughs> Oh. Well, listen, our fo- listen. Anybody who doesn't like O the Anthem on Facebook or mm-hmm. follow us on Twitter, even if you don't have a Twitter account, start a Twitter account. Just follow, follow us. us. Yeah. Well, then clearly you support ISIS, and right? And you're also a communist you're and a go, socialist. You're going to go on a list. Yes. You're going to be like Rob, thinking that school teachers should make thirty million and Matt Weeder should make dick. Not my point of that. Not the point of that conversation. <laughs> anyway, you can find me online on all your social networks, as I've said. Literally anything. Anything you have to communicate with the world around you, I have an account, and it's at Robert and Cheek. Uh, deaddrop.com for all of your the lesser-known news stories, the ones we're talking about here today, and even more. You can find them on there. Uh, foundingthefuture.us, the political blog. Um, and uh, the movementinsurrection.com. News coming out on that website, you're going to be able to find out news about the new book coming out as well. And ooh, ooh. buy my book on Amazon. Buy Rob's book. Uh, make sure you t- get in touch with us. Uh, join the Facebook event for the love letter. Yeah. Um, uh, one last reminder. Hashtag cardio is the OTA fitness challenge word of the week. And at some point this week, I'll run on a treadmill and see how I do. <laughs> So how long it takes me to do that mile. So you would definitely want to add at with the anthem on Instagram to see that ridiculousness. <laughs> see how large the na- – I'll just take a picture of the national debt instead. And- <laughs> uh, as always, you're listening to the O the Anthem podcast, part of the O the Anthem digital network. For Corey and all real true Americans, this is Rob. Have a great week, everybody. America, fuck yeah! yeah. <laughs> If you want to check out this week's full episode, it's up here. 
And we also referenced episode 6, the first time we talked about net neutrality, along with Solange and climate change. You can find that down here. Until next week, 